Well, they're all very relevant. You know, I don't really see why we have to put them at war with each other. I mean, through the production, defense and sustainability, the environment is very central to all of them. They are part of a total story. And, uh, you know, it's like saying, what do you um, like most, uh, food or water, uh, or sleeping and doing exercise? We have to do all of them. And I don't think there's any advantage in prioritizing them. In fact, the main lesson should be how they are interrelated, how the sustainability depends on the environment, how the future survival of the planet without having lots of hungry people, as at this moment, how that depends on is also on environment and sustainability, among many other factors. So I would suggest, if I, there's one thing to say about Expo, is to mention that the different themes there are very closely linked with each other. They are not war with each other, and they ultimately complement each other. That would be what I, my take on that would be. I, uh, and I, I have not one, and there's no one word can describe anything as big as an expo. On the other hand, the idea of people getting together to discuss a problem of common interest is a major event at any time. Uh, there are so many expos that have taken place in different parts of the world. I think the first one I attended when I was an undergraduate, I think, was to go to the expo in Brussels. I think it must have been 55 or 56, I can't think what. And uh, I was charmed by the fact so many people were there. There were amusement too, but also discussing many different issues, which I, as having someone arrived fairly recently from India, I found it uh, exciting and, and, and a great thing to have. So I think expos get people together. There's nothing as important as getting people together to discuss something significant and uh, important. Uh, that is a very big part of a successful expo. But the basic foundation is to get people together, for them to chat together. And it's in chatting together that I believe the future of the world lies, and that applies particularly to the role of the Expo in enriching the world in which we live. So that's going to be my take on that. It may not be very profound, but that is my belief. Thank you.